That was quick. You didn't leave me enough time to think of any other stupid comments. The crafty croctopus corners his crack of collectibles and coral capers. Zinger sports spikes on their backs. You can't jump them unless you're riding Winky. Well, okay, and then we're just gonna completely skip your dialogue. That's how insignificant you are, Cranky Kong. We don't care about your advice. Get out of here. No one wants to talk to you. All we care about is beating the game, and we don't need your silly advice, because all it is is just making my self-confidence go down. Yo, what's up, everyone? Purple G here, and welcome to another episode of Donkey Kong Country. In the last episode, we took on this level, as you can see on screen right here, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Platform Perils, we spent the whole episode doing that level, and it was interesting, I guess. I mean, if you want to go back and watch, what was it, like 15 to 20 minutes worth of just doing the same level over and over again, and I, okay, I guess we're just jumping right into this already, and okay, that was actually really bad, okay, but we're jumping right into this little boss battle already. I didn't have any time to think about anything, we're just like, okay, we are already here, alright. Okay, yeah, as I said before, we have absolutely zero time to think about anything or process something. We just gotta, we're just jumping right into it. We are literally just jumping right into the game. Alright, so anyway, let's just go ahead and do this properly this time without having a mess up here. Okay, here we go. So he's a lot lower this time, which means he should be a lot easier to hit. Here we go. Come on, here's another good chance. Good chance to hit him. Alright, come on, Neki. Come on, Neki. Why is he all purple? What is he all purple? Did his, like, head swell up or something like that? Is I uh, like okay? Is that is that what is that what this thing here? Or actually, actually, okay. This guy's gonna keep on throwing his silly little acorns or whatever the walnuts or whatever. And okay, I mean, yeah, you do that. You do that, and I mean, sh sure. I mean, you killed me. I mean, you know, it's okay. You killed me fair and square. I'm just gonna have to accept it. Accept that I'm bad at the game, even though I already accepted it like nine years ago, like back in episode two already. But, I mean, who cares? Who cares? And think about it, you know, speaking of episode 2, what episode is it now? Oh my goodness, I don't even remember. I think it's... I, I want to say it's episode 22, although I could be wrong. So, I mean, hopefully I got it right, or at least somewhere close. We're definitely over 20, so, I mean, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. We've been absolute, absolutely, like, speeding through this game. Like, one, one second, we were in episode 1, and then here we are. Like, in episode 22 now. But anyways, we are absolutely getting destroyed by Neki over here. Okay, this shouldn't be that hard of a boss fight, because all he's doing is just throwing these silly little acorns, and all we gotta do is hit him. But it's a little bit weird, because we have to, like, predict his pattern and stuff like that. There, there we go, we gotta go hit him. And, okay, yep. And the thing about it, it's like it fluctuates. It always, it always changes on which way or how fast the walnut is going to go to. Alright, so anyways, go ahead and do that. Do that, come on, come on, jump up again so we can hit him one more time. And jump up again, there we go. Oh my goodness, how many, tits is, how many hits does it take to kill this guy? This is actually taking a really long time, oh my goodness. I really hope we don't spend another like 20 minutes just fighting one boss because that would be quite embarrassing. And I think what's going on here is that these are homing walnuts. So they go, yes, okay, they are homing walnuts. Okay, yeah, so they are going to go wherever my previous location was. So we need to keep that in mind so we know how to dodge them a lot easier. Or we can just walk right into them. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot harder than I expected. Okay, I thought I thought he was just throwing the same kind of walnut. He was just throwing it down, and then it would land on the floor as usual, you know, and then everything just goes according to plan. But according, or what, according to plan? I guess not. According to the game, okay, this, that's unfair. That is really unfair game, really. Are you really going to do something like that? Are you really going to do something like that? Alright, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Come on, okay, there we go, there we go, jump over that one. Oh my goodness, oh, this is so difficult. How are you supposed to do this? I have no idea how you're supposed to do this. This is actually way tougher than I thought, oh my goodness. We must be close, okay, no, not we must be close. No, we are definitely near the end of the game. Like, because especially, because, like, the, the level curve. The level curve, okay, no, the level curve happened all the way back in, like, episode 9. The level, or what, the difficulty spike or whatever. I mean, the levels got way harder a long time ago, and we learned that the hard way. We learned that the absolute hard way. Alright, come on. Just keep doing lots of damage. Come on, lots of damage. Lots of damage. Alright, come on. He's gotta be low. He's gotta be low. He's gotta be low. Come on, come on, come on. He's gotta be low. Come on, come on. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Come on, hit him. Is that it? Is that it? That's it! There we go! He's defeated. Oh my goodness, there we go. That took way longer than expected. But we get the nice little jingle as a nice satisfaction. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. <gasps> and here we are. Oh my goodness, we're already here. Oh, this is it. Gangplank Galleon. Oh my goodness, this is it. This is it. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I did not... Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. Okay, how about... How about we do this? How about we do this? We need to go back here. We need to go back into this... Okay, no, no, no. We need to go over here. And we need to make this trek over here. 
Okay, never. I was about to say, why is the music still like this? But no, this is the music for the menu theme or whatever by default. I was wondering, I don't know. But anyways, what we gotta do is I'm gonna go ahead and quickly save my game because we have indeed beaten the boss. And now what we need to do is we need to go over here, go to Funky Flights, and then we can go ahead and take the little propeller plane barrel thing or whatever to Gangplank Galleon. All right. Here we go, I don't know if this is going to be a world, or is it just going to jump right into the, you know, the boss fight that I'm pretty sure everybody knows from this game. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get this thing done. Oh my goodness, there's the theme, there's the theme, and there's the crown. And then, okay, I think we're jumping right into the boss fight. Oh my goodness, it's Gangplank Galley and it's finally here. It's finally here. Oh my goodness, this theme is so good. The Smash Remix is obviously super good, but there always is something special about the original Donkey Kong version of it. Okay, and, K and K. Rule is putting up much more of a fight than I initially thought. Oh my goodness, but this is, oh my goodness, this theme. Oh, I can't. This is so good. This is so good. This is arguably one of the best themes from this game. Oh my goodness, the music in this game is so good, but Gangplank Galleon... Oh my goodness, absolutely phenomenal theme from this game. Alright, so the crown just, yeah, immediately spawns right back on his head. Okay, so I'm not too sure how many cycles this guy has. I don't know how much, how many times he's going to keep on sprinting towards us. Alright, jump over him. There we go. Is he going to run back? Is he going to run back? He's going to run back. Okay, there we go. He's going to run back again. Okay, we got to we gotta know how to predict this. We got to be, we got to be uh, predictors. I don't know. Something like that. Okay, what's, what's going on? I need to know, I need to know, I need to know. What is happening? What is happening? Okay, there's cannonballs. Oh, okay, okay, so there's, okay, so we know that there's two phases, there's no, we know that there's at least two phases, okay, we're slowly learning, we're slowly learning, I said, as I said at the beginning of this, this is a blind let's play, I have no idea what's going on, what we need to be doing, I'm going through this, like, pretty much blind, I've never, never known about this boss fight, I just know that it's got some really great ga uh, Gangplank Galleon music, which is always really cool, but anyway, let's go ahead and fly back to Gangplank Galleon over here, this might get a little bit annoying the more we keep on having to reset, but it's okay, it's okay, it is okay, it was as long as we get to hear this amazing theme over and over again, I am totally happy. I'm totally happy. I'm absolutely totally happy. And it's 100% a boss fight. It's no, like, level or anything. Just straight a boss fight. Just easy as that. Easy as that. Alright, he's gonna chuck his crown once again, and then he's gonna do some running again. Alright, there we go. He's gonna run again, like the little speedster he is, or at least he wants to be. And let's go ahead and jump over him. There we go. Okay, so he's gonna chuck his crown one more time. We gotta stomp on him again. And what's he gonna do now? Okay, he's gonna jump up and down like a frog or something like that, even though he's not really a frog. He's more like a crocodile kind of thing. Alright, so anyway, here's the cannonballs. Okay, we dodged them. There we go. There we go. Okay, is there anything else? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. There he is. He's chucking his crown. Okay, so I assume that was phase two. Alright, so he's gonna run. Is he gonna run? Okay, no, no, no. Is it gonna be more cannonballs? I think it's gonna be more cannonballs. Yep. Okay, more cannonballs. Okay, we just have to completely fail we just have to completely fail oh my goodness okay this is going to be a little bit more tricky than i initially thought but we're learning this is a learning process it's a learning process and we're learning as we go along here we're learning we're getting better at this all right there we go all we got to do is stomp on him and then we just got to simply jump over him easy as that then he's going to chuck his crown once again just like the smash bros move and then we jump over him again he's going to run across again we jump over him again easy as pie easy as that and then we stomp on him again and then he's going to try to dash at us again and then he's going to try to do it again and then he's going to try to do it a third time and fail look at that all right so what he's going to do is okay never mind we need to be able to predict that okay we need to be able to predict that okay good to know good to know okay he's going to do his little jumpy thing or whatever and then he's going to rain down the cannonballs all right so there's one then we just got to go over here and completely fail and completely fail okay that is not good that that did not go in my favor in any way, shape, or form, but it's okay. As I said before, this is a learning experience. This is a learning experience. We're learning this as we go along here, and I nearly just ran right into it. That would have been really embarrassing. Okay, let me go and swap out my character over here. I think I'd rather use Diddy Kong. Okay, there we go. Nearly died over there, but it's okay, but it's okay. We just gotta jump over him again, and then he's gonna try to do a little dash attack once again, and then he's gonna chuck his crown, and then we're just gonna stomp on him once again. All right, good for us that we can use any character, not just uh, Donkey Kong or something like that, which is really good. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and jump over him, because I feel like I have more control when jumping with Diddy Kong. I feel like he jumps higher. I don't know. Maybe it's just a placebo effect or something like that, but because he's lighter, I mean, logically, it would make sense that he would jump higher, and maybe that's why I prefer playing as Diddy Kong in terms of the jumping stuff, but apparently not. Apparently not. All right, is he going to chuck his crown? Yep, he is. All right, so there we go. We just got to stomp on him, and then he's going to do a little runny attack, or is he not? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, he's going to come over here. He's going to fire down the cannonballs. All right, so we just got to do that. Okay, these things, okay, how was I doing so well earlier and then now I'm dying to these falling cannonballs? What is happening? I don't even know what's going on over here, but it's okay. 
It's okay. This is just this is all trial and error. All trial and error. We're just gonna keep on doing this until we succeed. That's the goal. We keep on trying until we succeed. And no matter how how, how no matter how long it takes, no matter how long it takes, you know, it's like every single level, every single level, every single episode, we always have an annoying level that we can't beat. But you know, every single time, I you know, oh my, what am I even saying? What am I even saying? I'm trying to say that like no, regardless of what happens, regardless of what happens, we inevitably beat the level in the end, and that's what counts. That's what matters, right? That's right, that's what matters, right? Okay, so he's gonna do his little bunny hops, then he's gonna drop down the cannonballs. Okay, so there's a there's obviously a little rhythm over here going on over here. Okay, why are they so difficult to dodge? What is going on over here? All right, is he gonna chuck his crown? He's gonna chuck his crown. There we go, we step on him, and then he's going to do his little jump jumps, and he's going to, uh, yep, rain down the cannonballs. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, that's how you do it, okay. So yeah, they're not targeting me. They just go across the screen, easy as easy as pie. All right, so we just gotta wait for him. Oh my goodness! Okay, there is more. There is more. There is more. Okay, so here's what he's gonna do. He's gonna chuck his crown once again. We gotta stomp on him, and then he's gonna run. Nope, he's just gonna keep on doing his little jumpy thing. Okay, so I assume there's going to be three rain cannonball raining down things or whatever this time. All right, so there's one. There's one. All right, so is there gonna be number two? Yep, there's number two. All right, so come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. All right, let's stay over here, nice and close to him. All right, come on. Come on, come on, there we go, there we go. Okay, so now he's gonna chuck his crown. He's gonna chuck his crown, right? There we go, there we go. Stomp on him, stomp on him. Yes! Oh, we did it! He's dead! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. Wait a second. Everything is K, Commander, King. Wait a minute. The end question mark? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait a minute, something's not right here. Something's not right here. Hold on, okay. Okay, I guess he's still alive. And then we immediately die. Okay, um, <laughs> that was unexpected. Um, are we gonna have to restart the whole fight? Or are we back or- Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna have to restart the whole fight. Yep, restart the whole fight. Alright, just like the game always wants us to. Okay, so, looks like we're gonna have to be seeing that every single time. Okay, this is going to be a little bit annoying. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, but it's okay. It's okay, we like, we quote unquote beat him. I mean, we didn't really because, you know, the end question mark. But you know, it's okay. It is okay. All right, he's gonna do his little runny thing or whatever. He's gonna chuck his crown. There we go. Easy as pie. Stomp on him, and then he's gonna do the cannonball rain time. Okay, so here's where the cannonball is raining down. All right, this time we gotta make sure that we don't lose a character. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So easy as pie. Easy as pie. That's just part one. Part one. We just gotta wait for him to chuck his crown. There we go. Then we step on him, and then he's just gonna do his little bunny hops or whatever, and then the the cannonball rain. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. All right, so then we just gotta wait for this one. Come on, come on, where is it, where is it, where is it, there it is, there it is, there it is, okay, we dodged it, we dodged it, there we go, stay close to him, stay close, stay close, but not too close, so we get hit by the ground, there we go, alright, we stomp on him, he's gonna do his little bunny hops once again, and he's gonna rain down cannon fire, okay, where are they coming from, where are they coming from, this side, okay, here we go, we go over here, and then he's going to rain down cannonballs once again, alright, come on, come on, this is so intense, this is so intense, no, oh my goodness, oh, I was doing so well without losing a character, Oh, we were so close. Come on. Come on, game. Oh, we were so close. Oh, my goodness. Now how are we supposed to do this? Do we... Okay, no, no. It immediately just goes right to it. Okay, okay. I was expecting the credits. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. That completely flustered me. Oh, my goodness. That completely got side. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what was that all about? What was that all about? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now we have to do this all over again. Oh, okay. Okay, I was I was not expecting him or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, let's go and step on him once again. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is actually going to get really annoying really quickly. Oh, my goodness. How, the fact that we have to continuously keep doing this over and over and over again. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking anymore. We ran out of lives. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to get very annoying. This is going to get very annoying very quickly. Oh my goodness. This is going to be really ir irritating. You know what? Just to save time, I'm just going to cut ahead when we inevitably make it back to like the third wave of the K. Rule boss fight. So, I'll see you guys there. Okay, so there we go. He is now down for the count. Okay, so there we go. He's down for the count. We do have both characters. Alright, can we skip this? No, we just have to watch it over again. I think it's because we died or something like that. But anyways, okay, yeah, we gotta thank the, uh, the game developers. We got the coloring done by Critter. We got the concept done by Clump. The commander was K. Rule. 
Pretty cool, pretty cool cast of uh, game developers. You know, only six people made this game. I mean, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so he's gonna do his little jumpy thing or whatever. So I assume we just need to duck or something? Is that how we dodge him? Yep, okay, there we go. All right, so he's gonna chuck his crown. There we go. Come on, stomp on him. All right, so then we just duck, we just duck. All right, come on. All right, he's gonna do these little hops. There we go. Come on, jump, jump, come on, come on. There we go. All right, all right, he's gonna do big hops, big hops, big hops. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Step, step. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, this is it! Yes! We did it! Oh my goodness, what an ending! Well done, Donkey, my boy! Who would have thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no good Kremlings? You've made an old man proud. Go and look in your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. If I had been playing, I'd, I'd have found everything. Okay, Cranky. Really, really? Just because we didn't find everything doesn't mean I did bad. I'm sure there must have been some bonus rooms you haven't found. Okay, Cranky. Really? Really? That was very mean. Try there we go. We got all the bananas back. Look at that. And now it's time for the official credits, I believe, here. Okay, we got Naughty. And then we got Neki. And then we have... We have Army. We have a lot of E's. We have a lot of E ending. We got Zinger. Okay, I guess not E, but Zinger. You know, it's, it's a cool enemy nonetheless. We got Slippa. We got Mankey Kong. Okay, so never mind. Not, not Lanky Kong. Mankey Kong. We got Mini Neki. We got the aquatic bad guys who are not here. Oh, there they are. Okay, we got bite size. Oh no, the aquatic bad guys. That was the caption or whatever. We have Croctopus. Okay, so that's what those guys were. Not Shuriken guys. We got Chomps Jr. We have Chomps. We got Clambo. We got Squidge. Okay, we got multiple Squidges apparently. And okay, okay, what is going on here? Okay, Mother Nature at its finest. And then we have the cast of Kremlings over here. So we got Critter over here. And then we have Clump. We got Crash. We got Claptrap. We got Rock Rock. Prussia. And then we finally have the bosses over here. We have Very Naughty. We got Master Neki, which is just part of the screen, I guess. We can't see his body. We got Queen Bee. We got Really Naughty. We got Dum Drum. We got Master Neki Sr. And then last but not least, King K. Rule. Oh, what a cast of enemies. And then we got the good guys over here. And I'm pretty sure we all will know what these guys are. Rambi. And then we got Espresso. En guard Or on guard, I guess. I probably pronounce it really weird. We got Winky. We got Squawks. And then we have the Kong. So I believe this is going to be the last subtitle fight or whatever. Is it my turn yet? We got Cranky Kong somehow moving. We got Funky Kong, the iconic character. We got Candy Kong for helping us save our game. Thank you very much. Surely it's me next. Uh, sure, I guess so. And then we finally have Cranky Kong. We got Diddy Kong, and then last but not least, Donkey Kong, the man himself, the man himself, the man himself, here he is. There we go, yes, thumbs up, thumbs up everybody, thumbs up. We did it, we did it, that's it, that's it, we have defeated all the bosses, completed all the levels, and done everything we need to do, and... Okay, and then we got some sort of uh, so thing going on over here, oh my goodness, I think they're laughing at me maybe, or something like that. But I don't know what's going on over here. Oh my goodness, oh wow, okay, they are just, they are just going, they are just going at it, oh my goodness. Oh my god, okay, so he bit his finger, oh my goodness, this, this game has so much charm. I did this using one life, okay, Cranky Kong, we get it, and it took less than an hour, okay, Cranky Kong, we get it. And there we go, so with that, this is the official credits for everybody who made the game, so that is it for Donkey Kong Country. This is it, this was the final episode, oh my goodness, a little bit... Literally it came out of nowhere. I didn't expect this to be the this to be the the final episode, but oh my goodness, this is it. So, anyways, yes, that is it for Donkey Kong Country. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. I certainly enjoyed it, despite the fact that, you know, the multiple times where I just didn't like this game, you know, because I was struggling with levels and, you know, you're screaming at the game. But aside from that, deep down, this game was an absolute blast to play. I have never played a Donkey Kong game before, and to start with something like this, oh my goodness, it was just, it was an absolute joy to play this game and for the first time, and it was an absolute joy to, you know, like, play it along with you guys. So thank you to anybody who's ever watched one of these videos, or any watched one of these episodes, from 1 to 22 for leaving comments leaving a like or just leaving anything or just simply watching it just thank you thank you so much for enjoying for joining me on this amazing fun adventure and you know cheers to the next one so hopefully next time we will take on something a little bit more interesting so to speak i don't know who knows what our next let's play will be definitely le definitely let me know in the comments down below on what you may want to see in terms of the next let's play and please don't let it be Mega Man. Oh, I do not want to play Mega Man. Oh my goodness. The Mega Man is going to be this game, but like 10 times worse. But with that, the credits are coming to an end here. So I'm going to end things off here. So thank you guys once again for joining me on this adventure. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.